hey everybody welcome back to the channel it is time for another adventure we are setting out for the national forest we're slightly earlier than we have been for the last ever how many videos it's about i don't know a quarter to two which is a lot earlier than what we've been being out there but anyway i had a i was the, earlier this morning i was had gone uh, to get some few groceries for the camping trip and I thought while I'm coming by here I might as well stop the post office and sure enough there was something in the P.O. box I've been waiting for for a little while it's something you know it'd be a, an addition to the channel and I uh, and it's something that is I'm not going to tell you what it is yet but it is rechargeable so when I took it out of the box it had no charge in it so as I, you know, set it to charging, I realized that it takes quite some time to charge it. And I was already on my way camping, so uh, I decided that I wasn't going to wait on it. And it can make the next camping trip because I wasn't going to wait. You know, I wasn't going to waste a whole day charging it. I probably could have just brought it with me and charged it with the power station, but... You know, I'd rather uh, have it up, functioning, ready to go by the time I get out there. Because it is rechargeable via solar power station. You can uh, use a wall charger for it. It's, it's really pretty cool. But anyway, enough about that. We'll catch up with that on the next camping trip. So, uh, like I said, I'm in route up on the mountain now. I just left my house a couple of minutes ago. So... Uh, It'll take me a little bit to get out there, and then uh, I'll kind of bring y'all up to speed on what we're going to do on this camping trip. So y'all hang in there, and I'll see you in a few. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is going to be our spot for ever how long we decide to stay. But let me tell you, the, this particular spot is pretty close to the road. So, I mean, people who have, you know, a lot of people car camp, and some people got little bitty cars. So... This would be a perfect spot. There's nothing that you have to negotiate to, to get up on this little bit of a hill. And there's a decent fire pit. And it's, it's cleared out a little bit. And it makes a circle drive. You can go back out that way to the road. Hold on a second. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. that. That clip got cut up by a phone call. But, and I had to walk way up here on this hill to get any uh, cell service. I guess Verizon don't stretch all the way down there. But anyway, uh, like I was telling you was, you know, I very rarely uh, camp that close to the road, but I figure, you know, there might be somebody that watches my channel that gets in this area that doesn't have a capable four-wheel drive to get to some of the places I go. So I thought, well, we'll just try this. And so as I was beginning to drive by, I noticed a lot of trash around the campsite, so that sealed the deal for me. I thought, well, I'll just camp here and clean up some of that garbage because it looks disgusting. People should be ashamed of themselves. I have seen an untold amount of garbage around here. I don't know why people do the things they do, but it's very disturbing. Like some people just wasn't raised properly, I guess. I really can't say. Let's see, I see a wad of garbage over here. Let's walk over here and take a look at this. Look at what we're working with here. See, it's just garbage. People just don't haul their stuff out. And I didn't even see this from the road. I just noticed this. Underneath this tree here, you couldn't see this part from the road. People are just disgusting. I can't stand it. Anyway, let's mosey back this way, and I'll show you what I did see from the road. I mean, it's nothing super horrible, but it didn't need to happen like this. You know, somebody somebody left it here. I guess they thought their mom was going to come by a little later and pick it up for them. Turns out, nope, it's just me. 
This is the the garbage I saw from the road. Doggone beer cans and just trash. And it's obviously they had a trash bag right there. They just couldn't couldn't get the stuff into the trash bag and into their vehicle. So what I'm going to do since uh, I got a little bit of time anyway, I am going to set my tarp up. We got a really strong wind coming out of the northwest. So I'm going to set my tarp up kind of cattywampus right there in hopes that it's going to block some of this wind. But anyway, y'all go back to doing what you were doing. And I'm going to continue this and then we'll pick up a little bit of garbage. What do you think? I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. I, I got a decent head start on getting everything set up. That wind was kicking my butt. I should have made a bloopers reel of me trying to put that tarp up in a strong wind. So hopefully it's not bleeding through on this microphone. It's kind of calmed down for a second right now. But man, that stuff was rough, boy. I don't know that I've ever set it up just like this. But it should work good. We're expecting some rain. And if the rain does come, and if it comes out of the northwest, I can drop that, that back pole right there. I can drop that out and pull that side down some. Keep that wind from blowing in on the old... Uh, Coleman stove. Hopefully, that wind is you know coming close to dark. A lot of times, the wind will die down pretty good. I want to be able to have a fire. I'm really not sure what what I'm gonna cook for supper, but I'm gonna cook something because I'm hungry as a hostage. But anyway, I got it all. I got enough guy lines right here to trip 27 people for a whole weekend. So. Uh, Hopefully it won't be a problem, but and it, it, it typically is. I end, end up tripping over everything. All right, so I'm got to straighten up a few things in the back of my truck, and then I'm going to uh, start picking up some of this garbage. All right, y'all, got to get some <clears throat> get some water in this pot. Get this coffee made. Ooh. That ought to be sufficient. That ought to be enough coffee to keep me awake for days. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get that in the hole. See if I was smart enough to turn the gas on and put a lighter in my pocket. Aha! Success. There we go. Fire in the hole, boy and girl. All right. I think we've got the wind block up in the proper spot to fight this wind coming through and putting our fire out and all that stuff. Uh, we should be in good shape there. And my truck is sitting in a pretty good position to block the the wind from hitting the actual fire but man there's just a lot of dry leaves and grass around here boy if one spark went a little crazy we'd be whew, we'd have a weenie roast for days around here but anyway got my coffee going I'm about to get my old nasty gloves out of the back of the truck get this garbage picked up luckily i bought i brought more than one garbage bag because that is quite a load of garbage Still not sure what we're going to eat for supper yet. Y'all probably can't see it, but my accommodations are laying over there on the ground. And I'll get that set up after I pick up this garbage. Anyway, y'all hang tight. We're going to let this coffee boil or percolate, whatever it's going to do. I'm going to get that garbage picked up, and I'll get right back with you. All right, y'all. Got my little bit of sleeping quarters set up. Hope this wind don't bother too much. It's pretty doggone strong. So, what I'm hoping to accomplish through this couple of days stay is 
We're going to see if this thing will hold up to the wind. And we're going to see if it will hold up to the rain. We're expecting some rain. I don't know how, how bad or how much rain we're going to get. But we're going to see if the old girl will still hold up. Like I said, I've been out of the Army quite some time. But I was also in there for quite some time. And we never had anything this cool to sleep in. I don't even know if the Army still uses them. But this is the back side of it. It's got a little bit of a, I don't know, a little vestibule there where you can keep your boots. And if you had a pack with you or whatever, you could put in there and keep it dry. This thing's very easy to set up. It's got three poles all together. And they're, you know, shot cord poles. It comes with really nice tent pegs. It looked like they would do you pretty well in uh, any kind of ground that you were trying to hammer them into. They appeared to be aluminum, so, and I would assume this thing's had some pretty good use in its life just because of how much grass and stuff that was still in it. When I set it up, it looked like it came fresh from a field exercise right to whatever army surplus store it might have been in before I got my paws on it. But anyway, it's in really nice shape. It's not beat up at all. You know, I am not a fan of that camouflage. That stuff is, is never going to fit in anywhere I plan on being. So if I decide to keep this in my arsenal, I will probably take some fabric paint and put a camouflage pattern on there that is tolerable to my eyes. But anyway, we'll come on around here. And this is the inside. I didn't have a sleeping pad of any kind, but I did have those anti-fatigue mats that I kept in the bed of my truck when I was sleeping in there so it wouldn't be so hard on my knees. So that's what I'll be sleeping on tonight. Now, I've seen some other people do, like, reviews of these tents on YouTube, and they all talk about how black it is and under here how black it is, and they... They think that's so the soldiers can sleep during the day, which if you've ever been in the Army, you know that don't happen. What it's for is light discipline, so you can be inside your tent and have a, a light on, you know, read by or whatever, and it doesn't shine through to the outside. So if you hear anybody talking about that's for so soldiers can get some uh, sleep during the daylight hours, they would be completely wrong. But anyway enough about that so that's where we're going to be sleeping tonight so it should be a lot of fun i don't think it's supposed to get super cold tonight so i should be fine with that anti-fatigue mat it should it should insulate fairly well i would guess i don't know i've never slept on one it's pretty easy on the knees though the coffee got done in between me picking up garbage and setting up that tent but i think it'll be just fine that thing's got a front door on it big enough to move a couch and a refrigerator in there but that is actually just enough room for one body to sleep if you did get your rucksack in there if that's still what the army carries you wouldn't have got in there with my rucksack i promise you it would have been too much but that might be why that vestibule thing's on the other side keep your pack dry. But anyway, we're going to give it a shot. You know, we like to try new things on this channel. And that'll be a, a new thing to us for sure. All right, y'all. Let's see if we can set something on fire around here. Uh, I've got my... Old feral rod here. Oh, we getting old, boys and girls. Getting old. Goodness gracious, that's hard on kneecap right there. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Let's see here. There we go. Got a little flame brewing there. Let's see if it'll catch up. I don't know if we're really on to something or not, but the old dry leaves ought to take off and do something. 
even if it's wrong. Boy, that thing feels like a little green still. Had some a couple of visitors just a little bit ago. I saw an old fella rabbit hunting over on the hill. And uh, he had a one young beagle and an old basset hound. I heard him running something over there, so he must have got on to some rabbits or old deer track or something. But he finally come back around. <clears throat> so he looked like he was enjoying himself. I know when he called them dogs names, boy, they didn't stick around long. They went to go see what their daddy wanted. Hey y'all, welcome back. I got my got some uh boneless country ribs on the fire maple here. They are coming along swimmingly. Try to get them to stand up straight. But, uh, the wind is <laughs> still being a problem. My wife texted me just a little bit ago and said there's some pretty good storms down by Little Rock. Hopefully they don't make their way up here. You know, I wouldn't mind a little rain, but she said a tornado touched down, <clears throat> down that way, I guess not too long ago. So I have to keep an eye on the, whoa, keep an eye on the radar. But uh, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to that stuff. But you want to be safe if you're going to be out here. Right, y'all it is time for the kid to go to bed i will see y'all first thing in the morning for coffee Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 4.30, 4.45 in the morning. I got my little fire started here. I got to tell you, spending the night in that little tiny tent, that was rougher than three nights in jail. I promise you. I don't believe that thing was made for grown folks. That thing might as well say Fisher Price on the side of it. There's not even enough room in that thing to sit up. You know, it's flat on your butt sitting up. You can't do it unless you got your head all twisted down. That was rough, boy. And then let me tell you another secret. Those anti-fatigue mats, nah, they wasn't made for sleeping on. It was good insulation. I didn't get any cold up through my back, but man. Boy, I felt like I'd been horse whipped the time I got out of there. I got up about three times to go pee, and I didn't want to get back in there any of the time. I wanted to pop the cap on that rooftop tent and get up there where grown folks can sleep. But yeah, I personally, I don't think I'll be keeping the old uh, army tent in my camping arsenal. <clears throat> I've had enough of that thing. Oh, the coffee's good. And it never did rain. It was supposed to rain. It never did. The wind picked up quite a bit. And I could see some lightning in the background. But the rain never did come. Which I'm probably fine with that. But it might rain today. I don't know. But uh, I can promise you this. I won't spend another night in that little tiny tent. 
I'm telling you, when I'm laying in there in my sleeping bag, I'm touching the right side, I'm touching the left side. Now it is long enough, you can probably uh, be over six foot tall and sleep in there, you know, lengthwise pretty comfortable, but I mean, it just, it'll make you claustrophobic sleeping in that thing. When I, excuse me, when I'd sit up in there, put my boots on, my head would rub against the top, and then the condensation from breathing in there would be all over the top of my head. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I believe we could probably do better than that for our soldiers. All right, y'all, we got plenty of daylight to work with now. Time to get this bacon on. Had the skillet heating up for a minute there. We got a little better brand of bacon than we had last time. Hey, everybody. I decided to add these potatoes into the breakfast. They're just little small potatoes, so I cut them in half and I baptized them in this hot grease. And then uh, once those, those get done, I'll... Uh, Scramble some eggs in there. All right, everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> what we're going to do is put together something for supper. I'm going to cut up these two bell peppers this onion and line the bottom of this dutch oven with it i'm gonna put a beef roast in on top of it and we're gonna let that cook i was gonna do it over the fire but according to my radar it's gonna start raining here in pretty short order so we don't want to get involved in that putting our fire out so yeah. make me a little garbage bag here yeah, we'll be in trouble if uh, we had something cooking over there and the dog on fire put it out. We wouldn't be happy about that at all. And it looked like it, when it starts raining, it don't plan on stopping for a good long time. So we're going to do it this way. Yeah, I knew it was going to rain at some point. I really wish it would have came last night so I'd have one more thing to complain about with that little junior woodchuck tent, but it didn't, and I'm, I'm fairly sure it's solidly waterproof in theory. You know, I just did dream that up a few minutes ago as I was wondering how I was gonna do this. And I do have other things to eat with me but hey uh you know how much fun would that be we might as well if we're gonna do it we might as well do it the hard way it's like learning lessons if i'm gonna learn one i'm definitely gonna learn it the hard way all right what we have here, kids, is a just about a two and a half pound chuck roast. So, for all intents and purposes, this should be just fine. All right, we're gonna dab a little salt and pepper on this feller. Gonna need a little agua in there. Ooh, I think we're gonna need more than that. Y'all hold still, I'll be right back. Now that had ought to be plenty for now. What we got going on. Let's see if we can find some light to fire with. 
can load it with a pocket knife, I promise you that. <coughs> Not with just a pocket knife, anyway. All right, we got a little fire in the hole. Let's we'll see if we can get this bad boy set up on there. Hey, look at us. All right, kids. It is now about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So ain't no telling when this is going to be done, but we got it cooking. And I'm going to uh, clean some of this stuff up. we got quite a mess going on here. Wash a few dishes. I'll get back with y'all in a little while. All right, y'all. Let's go take a look at this roast and see how it's faring. Let's see here. Let me find something to pick that lid up with. Oh, yeah, it's coming right along. We got onions and peppers and potatoes in there. The roast is coming along swimmingly. Yeah, we're just going to let it go till it gets so tender it's falling apart. Hey, y'all, we have dodged the rain as long as we can. It is just starting to sprinkle on me. I walked way up on top of the ridge. That's the shot that was just before this one. I walked up there to see if I could see, you know, what direction the, maybe the storm was coming in from. But, I, I, you know, it's really pretty decent skies over that way. Uh, nothing bad. And it. Right above us, it don't look too bad. It just started to sprinkle a little bit. And I wasn't able to pull the radar up, so I don't have any idea what's going on. But uh, it's making turning out to be a pretty sunset through there. I should snatch y'all off of that tripod and let you take a look at it. I believe I will. I don't know. Y'all can... See how pretty that is down through there? I don't know, maybe the camera doesn't make it look as good, but from where I'm at, it's real pretty. I did clean the globe on that filthy lantern. That thing was had so much soot on it, the, the wick needed to be trimmed. So I... Uh, I pulled the globe off and cleaned it and trimmed the wick, so it's it's burning much better now. Let's let's get over here and see if we can take us a look at this roast and see how it's coming along. Sounds like I might have the fire turned up a little too high. Sounds like it might be on boiling. Whoa. Ooh, sorry about all that steam, y'all. Oh, it looks good. Everything's looking real good in there. Yeah, we're going to cap it back off and... Let it do what it does. All right, y'all. I think we're going to call this roast done. Let me get the lid off of it and see if y'all can see in there without fogging up the lens. I don't know if it looks good to you, but it sure looks good to me. I'm going to get some of this put on a plate and eat me a little something so I can get some fire time before the, before the big rain comes. It's still sprinkling every now and then, but... I know there's more in store, so I'll uh, get back with y'all in just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see me way over here or not, but... Uh, Man, that roast was good, and the potatoes were good, and the onions and peppers. It was definitely worth waiting for, to say the least. I had quite a bit left over, so I bagged it up. I am just got it on the table over there cooling off so I can put it in the refrigerator. But it's still sprinkling a little bit here and there. I don't know. I'm sure the big rain's coming at some point. But uh, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> I'm down to my last few sticks of wood here on the fire. 
I'm going to let that burn down and I'm going to call it a night. Good morning, everybody. It is morning of day three and it is cold. I'm not sure how cold it is, but it's a lot colder this morning than it was uh, when I went to bed last night. Got some coffee heating up here on the stove. Man, we're pretty lucky we dodged any significant rainfall. It uh, only sprinkled a little bit. And that didn't last long. So uh, everything's dry, and that's a good thing. You know, we really didn't want to have to pack nothing up soaking wet, so that's a bonus for me, anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if the wind, I may have to take a look at that radar, but see if my phone will pull it up. I don't have hardly any data reception here, so uh, pulling the radar up to 50 50 shot, but. Uh, it, it's cloudy, but and super windy and cold. That's all I know. I feel like if it did start to precipitate at all, it would probably be snow. But like I said, I don't know what the temperature is. I guess it's somewhere in the in the low 30s, if I had to fathom a guess. Somewhere close to freezing. But I slept good. And uh, I didn't sleep a lot at a time. I kept getting up going to the bathroom, but uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad night. I've had a lot worse for sure. But it's been an enjoyable trip. I'm going to drink some coffee and try to warm up a little bit. Start packing this stuff up. I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, welcome back. <clears throat> it's finally starting to warm up a little bit. I figured I might want to get a little breakfast cooked. I got some some of that bacon left over from the last trip. Seems to still be good. But I wanted to get rid of it just because I don't want to waste it. You know, and I'm the only one at my house that eats bacon. So <clears throat> I reckon I better take care of it. But it is definitely some of the absolute worst bacon I've ever cooked. But we'll make the best of it. Could be worse. But anyway, man, when I woke up, I was so cold. Not in my sleeping bag, but when it was time to get up and out, it was, uh, it was a difficult task for me to accomplish. I did not want to get up. But I did dig around in the back of my truck, or in the back seat of my truck, and find a, a little warmer pullover to put on to go along with my jacket. Because I was not dressed well enough. But we'll get this bacon cooked up, and we'll be happy, happy, happy. I think. I think what I might do, some of them uh, leftover potatoes from that uh, roast I did last night, I might fry them after I get done frying this bacon. I might fry them and uh, some of the peppers and onions out of there, fry them in and add them to the scrambled eggs. It might be all right. I don't see where it can go wrong. I don't know if y'all have ever had fried Vienna sausages. I don't think I've ever fried them. I've always eaten them straight out of the can, but I'm gonna fry some. These are hot and spicy. You know, a lot of people wouldn't, <laughs> they wouldn't get close to these things with a 10 foot pole, but you know, I've been eating them all my life. Just like Spam, you know, I cooked some Spam the other day for breakfast on the channel and uh, a lot of times, if I'm somewhere where I have good data reception on my phone as I'm cooking stuff, I'll take pictures 
and put it on my Facebook page. And, you know, I'm in several different camping groups on there. Uh, you'd be surprised the, the mixed reviews that spam gets. And one, one lady had put a comment on there. She said just looking at it reminded her of uh, childhood poverty. And that, that cracked me up. You know, people in their mind, they associate spam with being poor. Well, I don't know when the last time those particular people tried to buy a can of spam. But that stuff is high. A can of spam costs as much as a pound of bacon. And don't go near as far. So it's uh, definitely not screaming childhood poverty, that's for sure. Or it wasn't the first thing I would think of, anyway. Hey, uh, in typical fashion, no sooner than I took my last bite of breakfast, it started raining. What I really should have done was pack all that stuff up and then try to cook some breakfast just because of the threat of rain. So, you know, everything is soaking wet except for the rooftop tent. I did close that down before I cooked breakfast, but the tarp and all the guy lines, all that stuff is soaking wet, including me. But uh, it, you know, it, you can't even get upset about it. I, I knew there was a possibility. It's all my fault. I should have packed it up. But so now when I get home, I got to check the forecast and see when it's going to dry up enough to dry this stuff. Because I got another camping trip coming up on Thursday, I think. So it's about three days away so anyway uh if y'all been with me this long you've been with me long enough on this trip we uh we we dodged the rain for two days and it got us on the third day but what do you do you know you just gotta roll with the punches we got the garbage cleaned up around here we got all of our stuff cleaned up we're not leaving anything behind so nobody should have anything to whine about when they camp here next time even if it's us, you know, you never know where you might end up camping. You might, uh, you know, we might be here again before long, but I'm going to say no, but it could happen. But anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you know anybody that's interested in camping type videos like this or, you know, just anything outdoors, you know, share the video. It helps me out, helps my channel. But anyway, I will catch y'all next time.